Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukorim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. Today is February 29th, the day we recognize Leap Day. There are no regularly scheduled readings for Leap Day in our journey through the one-year Bible reading plan. On this day, we will be reading Romans chapter 12 and focusing on Christian living. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 through 21 Therefore, I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace that was given me, to every man who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think reasonably, as God has apportioned to each person a measure of faith. For even as we have many members in one body, and all the members don't have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another, having gifts differing according to the grace that was given to us. If prophecy, let's prophesy according to the proportion of our faith. Or service, let's give ourselves to service. Or he who teaches, to his teaching. Or he who exhorts, to his exhorting. He who gives, let him do it with generosity. He who rules, with diligence. He who shows mercy, with cheerfulness. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor that which is evil. Cling to that which is good. In love of the brothers, be tenderly affectionate to one another, in honor preferring one another, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, enduring in troubles, continuing steadfastly in prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and don't curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Don't set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Don't be wise in your own conceits. Repay no one evil for evil. Respect what is honorable in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as it is up to you, be at peace with all men. Don't seek revenge yourselves, beloved, but give place to God's wrath. For it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Lord, we extol you at all times. Your praises will continually be on our lips. We glorify you, exalt your great name, and thank you for hearing us when we cry out to you. We thank you for your unmerited love, grace, and favor. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done, or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will, denounce our sinful nature, lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Your word says that we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that we may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. You made us in your image and called us into relationship with you. May we see ourselves and others through your loving eyes. Strengthen your people to stay the course of righteousness. May we be hearers and doers of your word for your glory. As we walk in obedience to you, we ask that you bless us with strategies to bless our family, our neighbors, and to grow your kingdom. Equip us to be ready in and out of every season so that we do not fall for wicked schemes, 
Thank you for never allowing us to walk alone. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.